Hi, I'm Chess, and you're watching Chess's Crazy Creations. Head over to Dollar Tree and grab some of the wooden supplies from Crafter's Corner. For this project, I grabbed three wooden blanks and four or five little mini crates. I placed some wax paper down to cover my surface, and I'll be using rubber gloves to protect my hands. I'll be using Folk Art Home Decor Wood Tint in the color Walnut. I started with the wood tint in a glass jar and used my paintbrush to spread it on. There are a lot of ways you can do this. You can paint it on and then wipe the excess off with a dry cloth, or depending upon how dark you want, you may want the stain to soak in. I do love this wood tint because it is water-based, so it cleans up super easy and is really easy to work with. I knew I needed four boxes, but I painted a fifth just in case I would need it. And then I let all of these dry completely. While those were drying, I grabbed the wood blanks and I repeated the same process, painting each of these with the wood tint as well. I painted the inside and the outside of all of the wood crates, and then later realized I won't need to paint some of the sides. And then for the blanks, I painted both the front and back and the sides as well. Once they were all done, I let them dry completely. Now that everything is dry, it is time to move on to the next step, which is assembling everything. I added hot glue to one of the sides of the little boxes and then I adhered it to one of the wood blanks on the bottom so that it could stand up vertically. I hot glued the side of another box and this one I placed on the top end of the wood blank. So I had two bins that would stack on top of each other. I repeated this process with another set of boxes in a blank and then now I'm taking the middle blank and adding it between the two by adding some hot glue to these last two little boxes and now I'm going to assemble the last set of pieces together. Now that everything's assembled, let's talk about all the ways you can use this little stacking station. First up, I'm making a coffee or snack station. So I started by adding some tea to the top in a variety of flavors and then I added some snacks next to that. In the next sections below, I added some K-cups of different flavors of coffee and some hot chocolate as well. In that last top section, I added some travel cups and I added a creamer. I wasn't sure if the creamer was going to fit, so that is why I thought I might need an additional section for this whole unit. I ended up adding a few more snacks to that last bin that I had purchased and here is a look at the whole snack station all set up, all the supplies ready to go for a guest in our guest room. Next to that, I added some water and of course the coffee machine. Now let's quickly go over some other ways and places you could use this. So this is in my kitchen and I'm simply adding some seasonings to this unit so I have an easy grab seasoning station. I placed it on my kitchen counter and I added things like colored pencils, markers, post-it notes, glue, and some rulers for a Homer craft or schoolwork station. And I hope this inspires you to create a snack station of your own. I'd love it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel and my blog at chasscrazycreations.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.